Hey everybody, Scarborough Link here. Welcome back to another episode of Pikmin. In the last episode, ladies and gentlemen, we returned back to the Forest of Hope and we showed off some new capabilities of Yellow Pikmin by introducing bomb rocks into the picture and into their utility. And we also got a couple of ship parts. One of them, which I believe was the Whimsical Radar, which basically gave us a map and tells us where all of our ship parts are. In this episode, we're actually, instead of going to the new area of the Forest Naval, um, we're actually going to head back into the Forest of Hope for one more time, so that way we can open things up for the next time uh, we come back. And also, I want to get one more ship part that I do want to hopefully try. Anyway, how's everyone doing? I'm doing fine. Oh, our little Pikmin are sprouted, hopefully. they're not which is oh so they don't do it overnight huh well they do it over time but uh well I'll, I'll take buds over just leaves well the, yeah, the well the reds are gonna have leaves but uh I'll take buds so starting off we're going to pluck all these little critters because we actually have quite a bit of them that need to be given the good old sprouting I thought they did it overnight, unless in the other games they actually do it more. Maybe not this game. If so, I just hit everyone with false information. So, I'm sorry. Alright, so... Today's probably not going to be the most crazy day. I'm gonna take out... Let's go for an odd number. Let's go for 48 red, extra reds we're gonna take out. And the rest will be yellows. I mean, we're probably not going to need too many yellows. But, uh, you know, it's nice to have. I want a flowered yellow. So, we're gonna... We're gonna have our good old pals, the flowered Pikmin. We're gonna have them go... Go ahead and get that sweet, sweet nectar for us. And so, yeah, like I said before, we aren't... Not we're not gonna do too terribly much today, just kind of open things up for the future. So, what we're going to need is we're going to need ourselves... And also just try to build up numbers, you know? Because while I'll still try to build up our Pikmin numbers, it's not gonna be, like, the main focus that we have moving forward. But, uh... You know, we'll... We'll get it done. Um, alright, so... What we're going to do is I'm going to have... I'm going to go around and, uh... I'm going to wait for the nectar first off. The nectar to be done, so that way we can, uh... Power up our Pikmin to full, to full power. So go on, have... You poor red! You poor red! Poor soul, and I am missing a Pikmin. Huh? What? Wait, I... What the hell? Hold up. Am I hanging the right way? Yeah, I am. Hold up. Hold Hold up. Ring ding. Ding, 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 ding. ding. I need to check this out. Oh. Oh, you got stuck. Okay. I was worried. I was like, what the heck? Did I throw one up there or something? Alright. And, uh... Let's, uh... Share the link. Why don't ya? Get some more. Nice. I oh, dropped the bomb rock. Alright, now that we got that, um, what we're going to do is we're going to separate our operations, and ooh, Pullman fella. Right, I'm gonna have some of you guys drink some of that sweet, sweet nectar. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have our good old reds, um, start busting down this wall. Since this is a black wall, it's gonna take a lot longer. Um, I'll leave a couple of yellows behind. Because I might just go around and start gathering bomb rocks while we just wait for them. I could use bomb rocks to make this process go faster. And if we have extra bomb rocks, I'll definitely do that. But, uh, uh so I'm going to gather our squad. I'm, I'm going to go look around. I'm going to see if we can, uh, we can get ourselves some more bomb rocks. So that way we have extra. I don't think we're going to need too terribly much, but, uh, oh well. I already... I already made it to what I wanted to open up. Uh, what I was going to open up is I'm going to open up this little thing over here. 
So that way, uh, that way we have, like, uh, because, um, over there we can't really do anything in that area besides kill those bull boars, and I'm not gonna bother with that because if we leave an area, like, if I, um, for example, if I, uh, leave this area, if I don't come back to this area tomorrow, which I'm not, um, and I, but I come back the day after, then the enemies will respawn. They'll probably be in different positions, but, uh, they'll respawn nonetheless, so... We don't want that, so I'm just going to bust that wall open, and it seems like we do actually have extra bomb rocks. Huh. We're, we're almost halfway done with the day, so... Um, the last area I wanted to check out was... Oh, I guess we're gonna have extra bomb rocks then. Um, the last area I wanted to check out was... Going to be this down here. Poor soul. Poor little leaf. Keep tripping. So we're going to need to be careful here because there is a bulb orb. I don't want to wake him up. So I want to kill the little fellow. I want to kill the little fellow before it's too late. So to avoid future conflict, we shall have the reds move it out of the way. If you want, you can harvest it. Whatever. So what we're going to do instead now is we're going to get our bomb rocks since we have extras there's more over there but we don't really need them so i'm going to we're going to do it right you did it you yellow pikmin watch out oh dang good oh you did it smart you did it the smart way good job yellows i'm proud of you you made me proud i was gonna make a wreck it ralph joke and say it's make your mama's proud time and i was gonna say i love your mom i love my mama Mama, I said it weird. Whoops. You know what? I can yeah, sure you can you can carry that back, Reds. You deserve it. No. What I was going to do is I'm going to grab our good pal the yellows. Sure, yellow, you can stay behind, but I wanna get my yellow numbers up more I just realized that respawn. It's actually not bad. But I wanna build up yellow numbers more since yellows aren't really gonna get too many uses. And also I feel like yellows are like the ones that I grow the least amount of. So, because it's early on and since we only have two types of Pikmin to worry about for the time being, yes, there are others. Don't worry, you will see more soon enough. Uh, you're the last threat to humankind. Well, he's dead. Whoever gets dominant. Oh, I want to talk about this. Um, multiple types of Pikmin can do the same thing, so I can, I can have, like, Four yellows and two red berry that, that to max it out but because there are more yellows it'll just go straight to the yellow production and so yeah there's way over over here have, have I, I found the nova blaster this is a dazzling burst of light capable of destroying almost anything i'm not actually actually i'm not exactly sure about this but the promotional brochure claims that it's beat blast can travel in the in the currents of space time smashing through the stars and into the rifts of space you're telling me you couldn't blast the freaking asteroid that knocked you onto this gosh forsaken planet to begin with? Oh well, video game logic. Um, I must, uh, another thing I must mention is that, uh, there are actually optional ship parts in this game. I believe four, or I believe five or six ship parts out of the 30 are not required to, uh, fully beat the game normally. There are three endings, by the way. There's a good ending, a bad ending, and a neutral ending. Neutral ending, you just get the 25, 20, 25, 24 required ship parts. And, uh, and yeah, uh, best ending is you get, um, all 30 ship parts before the 30 day time limit, or on the 30 day time limit, um, on the final day, but you get everything. That's the good ending. And the bad ending is that you fail to get all the required ship parts and all 30 before the end of day 30. I didn't even read the little thing. If I could just find six more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. That's nice, dear. That's nice. Well, now we got this and our numbers are boosting. I don't really know what else to do, but uh, I mean, if a 20 pellet respawns, and a 20 pellet responds. Can't. Responds? No, responds. That I can't really do anything about that. I don't think we lost just a single Pikmin today, which is really nice. 
Normally, you you'd expect me to to lose all the Pikmin. You know what I'm saying? You kill that, kill that Peliposi. Murder it, bro. See, this is what Pikmin does to a man. It makes you say you want to murder, murder flowers. Which I know doesn't makes it sound like I'm anti-environment. What do you call the anti-environment people? Like, I was gonna say environment environmentless or whatever but I feel like that's actually what you call yourself you want to be helping the environment you know I don't know words are weird no I don't want the yellows the yellow people to go ahead and grab that no I want red guy to do it no I gotta build up your numbers that's the name of the game Oh, shoot! Um, this little fellow. Um, I actually might want to be careful. Uh, these little beetle fellas. Um, you can knock them around and you can get yourself some nice little, uh, pellets from it. I think it can even drop pollen, too. Yeah, it does. Okay. But yeah, uh, I, I want to get my uh, bomb rock Pikmin away from it because uh, they might uh, drop the bomb and freaking explode and kill everyone. And I don't think anyone wants that to happen. I know I certainly don't. So that would make me sad. And we all know how much I love not being sad. Is there anything else I want to talk about? I, mean, I already told my epic movie story last episode, so I mean, there's not much I can say about that. But uh, I'm, the bomb rock Pikmin can they can skip it out. I'll save the pollen for everyone else. I'll save the pollen for everyone else. Because some people need it more than I do. And that, I can admit. But not everyone got it. Thanks, stupid twig sticking out. It ruined everything. Well, that's pretty much everything I wanted to take care of. Um, I'll double check just to see if there's anything else. We have color changing pellet posies that we can, or flower, or pansies, or the hell you call them. Or you can smack them. And it's funny because they kind of spoil one other type of Pikmin, which is, I mean, if you know, you know, but like, uh, they're, they're spoiling the game for us, bro. I never wanted to see what kind of other types of Pikmin there are in this world. Like, I don't want to see that. That's like... It's like spoiling your favorite movie. I don't want to spoil anyone's movie. They have a right to watch the movie. I don't want to spoil that. Man, I love... Uh, I love Pikmin, guys. It's not one of my favorite franchises, but it's a game I can get behind. I like 2 more, though. Just staying that right now. I love 2. 2 is my favorite. 3 is pretty good. One's also pretty good. They're all solid. I have paid Pikmin. I've never touched it, though. That, I could think, I can safely admit without people wanting to crucify me. Not that anyone would want to in the first place, but... Make it sound like that's a negative thing. No, I should be grateful that no one wants to crucify me. Um, okay, now I really think that's it. I know we have only a little bit more time to go. But, uh, if you are done for the day, and you have nothing else exploited your rumors as much as you could already, you can simply press start, you can press the D-pad, oh, wh whoops, wrong thing. How do I do it? No, it's not plus, you can press minus, and you can go to sunset, which will automatically end the day. So if you're done with an area, and you don't want to wait around the whole time, you can do that. So, yeah. So we're going to do that. We're going to do that. But it'll automatically end the day. So, just be warned, don't do it on accident, or else things will get bad.
Well, overall, I think this was, was a pretty successful day. We got one ship part, which I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but because of that, we're now officially one-fifth through the game. There's only 24 ship parts to go. Which is pretty nice, all things considered. Alright, four days since impact. I have seen that, that at times the leaf atop of Pikmin's head will grow into a bud and then a flower. It appears that if I do not pick the Pikmin sprouts, they gradually broom, bloom over time. Fascinating. This melding of plant and animal traits is surely unique in the natural world. I have found flower Pikmin to possess increased swiftness when in a rush I found pressing and holding A, then calling the flower Pikmin forth with the D-pad to be quite an effective strategy. I've also learned that new sprouts found growing on days following fierce battles are the result of seeds being left behind. Yes, so if Pikmin die, you can sprout seeds. 63 Pikmin sprouted, not as much as yesterday, but our total did go up. Not total how many we have currently, but total in the whole game. Um, no Pikmin lost in battle, no left behind, which is nice. Finally, a day without casualties. Um, we have 143 reds and 103 yellows, which is nice. It's nice to have over 100 of every type of Pikmin. Alright. Nice. Very, very nice. Alright. Well, with that, that is everything we can take care of in the Forest of Hope. For the time being. We'll be back later. And although I'm not looking forward to it. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do it, I'm telling you. So, that's going to be it for this episode of Pikmin. So, next time on Pikmin, we are going to be heading to the long-awaited for the Forest Naval. I almost said the Forest of Naval, but no, it's just Forest Naval. Because it looks like a belly button. I think Olimar mentioned that. Um, so yeah. Um, that's going to be it, so next time on Pikmin... We're going to be checking out the Forest Naval. I love repeating myself. I hope you guys realize that. See you guys then.